Hello, my name's Tom Cahill, and that's C A H I L L. My email is T zero not an O, that's T zero M C A H I L L at hotmail.com. My Skype contact is T zero not an O, so that's T zero M Cahill, that's C A H I L L, that's my Skype name. Um, please contact me if you've got any information which you think would help or any questions that you'd have. Um, I appreciate I'm talking about quite an expansive subject here, so I would expect that there might be questions, and I'm here to be shot down. I'm um, I'm totally happy with everything that I've said, but I can't possibly give all the substantiation in a soundbite, which is obviously what everyone will always demand whenever you talk about a complicated subject. They want to know everything in a soundbite. Unfortunately, it's not possible. But any serious questions you've got about anything that I'm saying. I'm quite happy that I can satisfy to a very high degree of evidence that what I'm saying is totally substantiated. Um, I was a victim of the Aston Lloyd Ponzi scheme, which I from now on I'll call Alpons at um, Aston Lloyd and Partners International was a subsidiary of Aston Lloyd Holding Group. Um, the holding group continues to trade now. Um, the police have allowed this to happen. I put in a report to them with um, documentary evidence of the fraud and the fact that all the companies in the Aston Lloyd Holdings Group were all linked together and they'd all been switching money from one account to the other from day one, which they've chosen to ignore. And worse, pretend to collect information, then sit on the information, keep closing down the investigation, opening it back up again. Um, they befriended a guy who's um, having a nervous breakdown, this Welsh guy whose name I won't name, but he doesn't live in Wales, but they constantly go down and have visits to him and like, the guy's having a nervous breakdown, he's no good to man or beast at the minute because he's, you know, so stressed out about the fact he's lost all his family's money. Uh, they go on little jolly boys outings down to him. They used to also deal with this other Welsh guy um, who lives in Wales. Who was sort of like um, a bit of a self-serving, not very bright person who thinks he knows everything and he thinks he's cleverer than everyone else. You know these idiots who thinks they're cleverer than anyone else? He knows who he is. He, he strenuously objects whenever anyone ever points any of the negative sides of his, um, his character out or the negative things he's done. But he never actually denies them. He just, he just does bad things and he, he basically... He, they they were using him and I told him from day one I said look mate they're using you because you're Welsh you're dishonest you're not very clever and they're using you to gather all the information so that then in the future you can be used as a sacrificial lamb because no one in England likes a sarcastic whinging Welsh person with that horrible fucking accent that cuts through you anyway and if the person's fucking you over and he's pretending to be your friend gathering evidence and then using it to his own ends obviously the police love that kind of person because then they can blame everything on him so if you'll believe it they were telling people to give evidence to him as opposed to them and then he would collate it and give it to them and he was actually sending emails to people telling them they shouldn't give the evidence to the police because it's wasting time they should give it to him now later on it turns out that they told him we're not going to deal with this evidence we just want people's names and addresses but obviously anyone with any level of integrity or intelligence, even if they didn't have integrity, they'd still find some way of spinning this out because they wouldn't want it, it lumbered on their shoulders. He never came out and said, um, yeah, they've just they've just fucked me around. I, I've got all this evidence and they've just decided to take the addresses. He just kept it quiet. So effectively, I blame the whole thing. You know, a lot of it can be blamed on him and it obviously will. People will just end up using him as a hate figure. He's a perfect cut out hate figure. So that's his own problem. But the point is that the police have got all that.